Hello, you all. You already know what we about to get into. We about to get into these messages. And see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. to get into these messages and see what Elohim would like us to know at this time. We have the Queen of Wands to the Moon with the Seven of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. So there, there could be a, a Queen of Wands trying to um, could be high in something, lying about something. This person could be trying to plan somebody's death. This person is. This person could be trying to plan somebody's death, or they plan to. It's it's, it's really not giving suicide, but. This this person plan on ultimately betraying somebody. If it's not death, it's like causing somebody some sort of ending here. Whatever this is, it's like the ultimate betrayal, whatever it is. This person could want to like communicate all nice like communicate very loving but it's some type of backstabbing dead end. Like, there's something hidden here, which is death and betrayal. Um, ending in betrayal. Somebody also could be trying to sneak somebody, trying to form a plan on how to sneak somebody, how to cause an ending. Somebody might try to betray somebody. Like, maybe somebody might, like, offer somebody a nice gesture or something like that. It's like setup energy. That's what it's given. It's given whoever this is is very deceitful. They definitely have a hidden motive. Definitely an enemy. Somebody could even be trying to plot with the enemy. Like it's like let's pull some out. <clears throat> Can I can I get one for the Queen of Wands, please? I just we got the Three of Wands to the Four of Cups. Hmm. This person could be traveling to do something here. This woman could possibly even be foreign. Whatever this person tries to do, I mean, moving forward, they're going to be dissatisfied because it's going to be a missed opportunity for them to do whatever they're trying to do. Like, <laughs> it's, it's just going to be a missed opportunity. Somebody wanted to be a hidden enemy and a secret enemy, and they was looking to get some type of good news or communication off of that, causing endings, betraying somebody, um call themselves wanting to sneak somebody in some type of way, shape, or form, and then you're dissatisfied. You got to move forward in dissatisfaction. The fuck? Like, I mean, you know. Yeah, there's some secrets here. Somebody could have been secretly dating somebody. Somebody could have been somebody's mistress. Yeah, tower. It's some type of unexpected tower here. Maybe they wanted to hurt somebody, but the unexpected tower is whoever they was trying to hurt, they're happy. They're happy. And they hold on to that happiness. 
and they're holding their energy back. So if somebody holding their energy back and they not fucking with nobody, it's going to be kind of hard to put them in this three of swords. It's going to be kind of hard to try to break their heart or cause them some type of trauma or try to make them suffer or try to cause them a loss because they're holding back their energy and they're happy. Yeah. This person is spiritually guided, so they receive justice. They know when somebody trying to, they know when somebody on some bullshit, no matter how nice they try to come off, gentle, loving, whatever the case may be, they know when somebody, they're spiritually guided to travel away, to move forward, you know what I'm saying? To receive that justice. They see beyond the veil. So even if you try to come to them in another way, they see beyond the veil. So whatever this individual tried to do, it didn't work. It didn't work. <clears throat> yep this person still has justice here yeah whatever this person was trying to manifest for somebody else is going back to them this person is going to be sad depressed at a loss guilty grieving everything that this person manifested against another is going back to them and they're going to be defeated may even be suicidal or whatever the case may be like they're going to be defeated like whatever death this person and betrayal whatever endings that this person had hidden for another is going to be for them that's it that's all yeah laid to rest this person is going to be laid to rest and that's where that competition gets your ass Late to fucking rest. You're going to have a chaotic home setting and everything else. Shit going to be fucked up for you. Because what is you doing? Plotting. <laughs> you should have never been plotting. It's so sad. Somebody child might even pass away. You just shouldn't have been plotting. It's just sad. All in the name of trying to compete with somebody. <sighs> y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm tired of seeing this energy. <laughs> I'ma just keep it a honey with y'all. I'm tired of seeing shit like this. Now you got the audacity to be in fear. <laughs> okay. It's the audacity. Now you got the audacity to be in fear, huh? Your plan didn't work, huh? Now you're scared, huh? The fuck? Who is this? Is this more than one female? No. Yeah, you or somebody else gonna get laid to rest. It could be a child and a and a woman. But let's see. Who is this feminine? Is this feminine an actual fire sign? Okay. What what are they? Is this feminine a uh, um Leo? No. Sag? No. So Aries. 
Aries female. You got the nerve to be in fear of what's going to happen. <sighs> what's going to happen is your heart is going to break threefold. That's what's going to happen to you. You're going to experience three endings. And it could be endings. It could be death. You're going to collapse. For the offers that you made against the divine feminine to try to control their happiness. You are going to collapse. I don't know what you did. You could have traveled to a foreign place. You could be foreign. You came up with a bright idea and you're dissatisfied off of that bright idea because you didn't get what you want. You didn't get what you thought you was going to get. You wanted to plan and plot and be somebody enemy and stab them in the back and do hit and shit. All because you were secretly dating somebody and trying to control somebody's happiness. And trying to cause them to suffer and have trauma. Trying to hold them back. So now, whatever. And then you did the ultimate. You could have even wanted this person dead. And that's hidden. That's a secret. You wanted to cause endings for this person. Or you wanted them to collapse. The thing is, Miss Aries... You're going to collapse. Or you're going to fucking fold when this shit happened to you. It's going to happen to you and whatever you're attached to. So you might as well just get ready for it. It's going to be a tower. Hmm. Justice will be had on you. It's all going back to you. Everything you manifested. See, you manifested. See, it came out in reverse because you manifested it for another you 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 put you invested in wanting somebody to be here. You wanted somebody gone. So now you're about to see what's about to be gone for you. It's in reverse. So whatever you got done is going back to you and yours. For you, you wanted to you want to be a hating asshole? You about to see where that hate gonna get you. That hate gonna get you fucked up. You're going you're gonna experience three fucking towers. Mark my motherfucking words. You're going to experience three fucking towers, three fucking endings, three forms of death. Justice. Watch who the fuck you call yourself competing with. Watch who the fuck you want to cause endings for. Watch who the fuck you hate on. Because who you was hating on is connected to a higher power and their divine feminine. Watch who the fuck you plot on. Whatever you did is going back to you. So hopefully you can fucking eat it. Don't be scared now. Don't be in fear now. You're about to see somebody get laid to rest. That's, that's, that's what you about to see, basic ass bitch. Basic ass karmic ass bitch. Obsessive, toxic, dangerous, unhealthy, possessive, karmic, basic, unoriginal in your taste. It's an insult for you to even try to compete where you don't fucking compare. You're fucking unexciting. You're really mainstream. You're like everybody else. It ain't nothing wrong with being basic either to the beautiful, basic people out there. But this is a dangerous, toxic, basic bitch that went too fucking far. Now it's going to get taken too far on her raggedy ass. You're, you're a stalker. You're a fan. You're obsessed. And that's why your ass getting put on blast. You're going to get exposed. And actually, well, I'm exposing you now, whoever you are. And then on top of that, you're going to get exposed when these towers motherfucking hit. So just in case you try to lie. 
when this shit hit your motherfucking life and you get fucked up in this way, it's going to be undeniable, baby. And best believe it's going to happen. You're going to suffer threefold. So you'll know where it came from. Look, it's splitting the deck. Aries. <laughs> Here you go. There you go, baby. You popping out of your own shit. There you go. You want to cause delays and, and shit for other people? You should have had more self-control. Because now you're about to be tested. See how that work out for you. You're about to be tested. See if you fucking survive. You want to do shit in impulse? You want to delay other people? Well, you're about to get delayed. Your limits are about to be tested. See how that work out for you? You fake flexing asshole. I don't give a fuck who you is. You shouldn't be doing this to nobody. Bitches always like to do secret shit, have secret feelings, want to be somebody enemy and secret, sneaky and shit. You a fucking coward. Coward clown. But now, here's your show. You want to show so bad? Here's your motherfucking show, because it's going to go down on your ass. Your fake flexing is played the fuck out. Play the fuck out. And somebody dodged them bullets that you tried to send. You didn't want them to be able to, I don't know what you was trying to hold them back for. Maybe trying to make them go broke or mess with they meant so or make them be suicidal. Whatever it is, they fucking dodged it. Tried to make them a hoe. Probably because you a fucking hoe. The shit, they dodged it. They slayed and they dominated that shit. An amazing job. They own motherfucking point. They do an amazing job. And they dominate competition. So you competed with the wrong motherfucker. When somebody try to compete with whoever this is, is divine feminine, they dominate that shit. And they do an amazing motherfucking job. And just know... That whatever you sent out is getting closer to you, bitch. It's tracking your ass down, sneaky bitch. It's tracking your ass down. You about to get an empty motherfucking victory. Cold-hearted bitch. It's a cold-hearted hoe that could be getting caught cheating and shit. Yeah, you're going to live a fucking nightmare. It ain't going to be in your dreams. It's going to be a reality. So anxiety having ass. Anxiety paranoid ass hoe. Boy, you be like, oh, that what they're saying is not true. It's cap. But y'all, look, look, listen, I'm trying to tell you. It's definitely, look, <laughs> it's already been figured out that you was a sneaky ass bitch. So you could call Cap all you want. Like I said, didn't I say that even if this person tried to call Cap because they was doing all of this secret shit and they had all this secret animosity and a secret, even if they try to call Cap and fake it, what's about to happen to you in your life, you will not be able to fake it, baby. It don't pay to be a sneaky bitch. See, you the type of bitch though don't want to comment that you in competition with somebody and shit. You ain't got nothing to say. You you like to do your dirt and sneak. You a sneaky bitch. That's why it came out like that. But what's about to happen to you, baby? Honey. <laughs> yep, you done had your last chances. You done lost your chances. That shit is over with. Like... You be trying to dig up dirt on somebody, but then try to give them a compliment or gas them up or some shit. Like, bitch. Like, you fucking support them. Like, come on, man. That's why your skeletons is coming out, ho. And whatever's about to happen to you, shots fired straight to your motherfucking heart. Because it's going to get you. Bitch, just the tea that you can sip. It's going to motherfucking hit you. It's going to haunt you, too, because you did it. Fucking around, messing around in the occult. 
That's that's could be your bright idea that you came up with. And you was doing, you thought this was going on in the shadows, whether you did it yourself or had somebody else do it. Nope. This shit gonna hunt you. It's gonna hunt you. The underworld fuck with whoever the fuck you was fucking with. Oh, it's gonna hunt you, baby. Yeah, this this is a nasty bitch, too. You got so many bodies you done lost count. You don't even know how many people you've been with, bitch. You should learn how to mind your motherfucking business. That's what you need to do. Mind the business that pays you, bitch. You done fucked the bottom of your box out. Sex addict. You done fucked the bottom of your box out, but you trying to mind somebody else's business that's minding their business, taking care of themselves, and then here come a hating ass, sneaky ass hoe that want to try to destroy them. You're going to be destroyed. You're going to be destroyed. Yeah, you tried to call this person a liar and everything. You tried to make it seem like this person was something else so that their divine love can swerve or uh, abruptly change direction on them. You didn't want their divine love to deal with them or something like that. Because the homie was feeling them. And you was low-key um and you was low-key um what's this? You was low-key afraid that this person was gonna be happy with somebody else. You could have air somewhere in your chart, or you had an air sign do something, or somebody is an air grand trying, somebody is gonna lose their job. Whoever was doing love spells and shit. On this person, they're going to lose their job. So really, for you, Karen, this fuck you and your feelings, middle finger and feels. I know I ain't showing y'all it was on the camera, but I was reading what was in the deck. But it's going to be fuck you and your feelings. Because, oh, you're going to end up having them. You trying to call, you try to call this person a snake and a liar, but they're woke, they're well-informed, and they're aware even if you do something sneaky, even if you do something and try to plot and plan against them on a sneak tip, they're very well informed and well aware they're woke. And you try to say that they were lying about something. Maybe you were trying to say they was lying about minding their business and taking care of themselves. Well, you sure the hell wasn't minding your business and taking care of yourself. You was wanting to be an enemy. You was plotting. You was in competition. You was planning. You was hating. You came up with right ideas to try to cause heart and loss, heartbreak and loss on this person's journey. And now it's going to be on your journey. How you like them apples? <laughs> you got caught cheating with a confused man, too. You wanted this other person to be lonely or feel lonely, too. What the fuck is wrong with you? Are you possessed? What is your whatever with this other woman? Like, the fuck? I'm trying to tell you this person, keep it a hunt. Woke, keep it a hundred. And you tried to make it seem like they was a liar. But what won't be the lie is how you're going to be crying, sad, hurt, and upset when this shit bang on your motherfucking ass. It will not be no motherfucking lie. Get ready for it, because your true self is about to be revealed, nasty hoe. Nasty motherfucking hoe. Your true self is about to be revealed, nasty hoe. Always looking up symptoms and shit. Always looking up symptoms. And this person that you was trying to do some shit to, they be shitting and stunting on your ass. They avoid contact with sick people. They know you bothered, intimidated, intimidated and threatened by them. You're miserable as fuck too, freaking the sheets more on the floor. You're not even happy. You're not even a happy hoe. Fucking manipulator. Obsessed ass hoe. Extra fucking triggered ass hoe. Ass 
ass on fire, huh? That's why your ass is, mm-hmm. Your ass about to get lit up. You finna feel that motherfucking fire. You done caught a STD, STI too? Just nasty. By somebody you just love so much. You had an undying love for this motherfucker. And you done caught a STD, STI. Now you ass somewhere in the emergency room, huh? Now you all up in your head because you know you done fucked up. You thought you won a prize. You thought you, you thought you was the winner. Nope, that's in reverse. <laughs> trying to get vengeance and shit. So you trying to get vengeance? Show obsessed ass. Okay. See where that gets you. Loser. <laughs> Fucking loser. Now you're trying to get revenge. See where that motherfucking gets you. You should have just left left this other person alone. You should have just left him alone. <sighs> you could have stopped taking birth control to get pregnant on purpose or something like that. You also be trying to feed off somebody, duplicate them. You're a motherfucking grudge holder too as well. Competition at motherfucking war. Avoid contact with this sick asshole. This divine masculine, which he really karmic fucking with you. But he's supposed to be a divine masculine. His ass is bothered and intimidated and miserable as fuck. <laughs> Influenced possibly by you. Ain't no telling. There's some type of photo proof or evidence or somebody trying to get some photo proof or evidence. Or somebody got some photo proof or evidence of this man liking men. It may end up causing some family issues or some family issues going on here. Oh, wow. So, yeah, you was trying to block somebody out, but shit, you can kiss their ass. Shit, you help them out. Because this shit don't look appealing. Shit, they, they say kiss my motherfucking ass to haters and they dust it right off because they don't have many faces. They keep it a hundred. Unlike yourself, use a sneaky ass hoe. <laughs> Confirmation. Yo ass be kissing ass, but at the same time being a hater and saying hateful shit. Yeah, wanted to be the third part. You, this is a third party situation that you're dealing with too, because it's not given whoever you attacking is in the third party. You in an entanglement. You're doing all of this shit for an entanglement. Oh, wow. Okay. You about to get fucked up off of an entanglement. This ain't you even your motherfucking dude. <laughs> fake ass. You could be a fake ass friend or you got fake ass friends. Just trash. You in an, enta you in an entanglement with a water sign. Or they got the water element in their chart. Y'all really ain't friends. Y'all fake motherfucking friends. Y'all lovers. Or there could be a water sign or a water grand trine or somebody with water in their chart. They know your ass fake. Yep, somebody don't feel like it's worth trying. Energy warning, don't trust. You could have been telling the groups that you roll with, your friends, your clique, whoever. Don't trust this person. Energy warning, don't trust, yada, yada, yada. Mm-mm-mm. You could be on ghost accounts and shit. Like, this shit is just so crazy. You and your motherfucking squad. Just a facade. It's just a... It's just... Y'all all fake as fuck. It's a, all a facade. Y'all always fucking partying. What else? Because I'm, I'm about done with this... Uh, I'm about done with this reading. 
yeah, you you guilty of it's, it's some type of boss daddy here. This person could have some money, or they got a big penis, or they a business owner. You're guilty of fucking others over with no shame behind this motherfucking man. Guilty. But you played the game well. Because whatever you did, you, you definitely got the job done. It's going to cost you. It's going to cost you hot ass. It's going to cost you. You could be extra triggered because this man probably no longer interested in your ass. Because you're untrustworthy. You like to flex and shit, but you a fucking follower. You follow whoever you got this played out thinking about too. You, you follow them. You're a fucking follower. You can even have a toxic ass relationship. You got a side hustle or this person got a side hustle. You're still stalking. It's like focus on your own ass. Focus on your own hot ass because that shit is on fire. Figuratively and literally. Hot ass. Hot ass sneaky bitch. It's going to your whole motherfucking world is going to collapse. So just get ready for that. Threefold. Remember what the fuck I said. Three fucking fold. So get ready for it. Just see who cap and who line. Three fucking fold. Because they ain't lying on you. Whoever saying something about your raggedy ass, they ain't lying on you. It's showing. You just like to do stuff sneaky and you think you ain't going to be seen. And you did it to somebody that was connected to a higher power, which is stupid. Because the most high look out for his. So, baby girl. You're going to experience death and endings. And as far as people go, see, since you're an Aries, you might experience some sort of endings or, hold on, let's see. Is this just going to happen to this Aries? No. It's going to happen to what's attached to you too. Are these things? No. And then, see, that's my thing too. Like, you so fucking foolish because you're doing it on the person. So, it manifesting, it's going to hit your people. And it's going to be all your fault. You're going to be hunted by that shit. If you're attached to a Sag, Leo, a Cancer, a Gemini, a Scorpio, a Libra, <sighs> you just stupid, slow assholes, man. The shit going to possibly bang on them. And you're going to watch. You like to plot and plan on people? You like to compete, bitch? Hmm. You like to go, You like to do cruel things? And you like to oppress people? And do cruel things? Mess with people's stability? Livelihood? Okay. Well, I hope you feel like you did your big one. Because the big one, it ain't going to be done on that person. It's going to be done on you and yours, bitch. So get ready for it. And I keep repeating it because you may not understand. You may not get what the fuck is going to end up happening to you for the shit that you did. So it's been repeated to you several times in different ways. Two different decks. Actually, 
this is like three, four decks mixed together in the other deck that I use. I think, no, it was just one. So basically, in like four or five decks, basically repeated it. So. You're screwed. Honey. You are screwed and you're gonna suffer. Yeah, doing roots. You a root planting ass bitch. Or you have it get done. You like to play with roots and shit. Well, them roots is in reverse and it's heading towards you. It's gonna be on your journey. You wanna plant roots on somebody else's journey in somebody else's life? Try to plant roots on their harvest and shit. You wanted to devour you wanted to devour this person, so. Yeah, you could have went to a witch that was doing spells and potions. You was trying to try this person to grief. Rituals and shit was being done. You could have been getting readings done on this person. Oh, your ass about to suffer a great deal. And this person gonna sit back and watch. Trying to do rituals on somebody's intuition because you didn't want that shit to be uncovered. Oh, you was on somebody's ass. So now the shit is gonna be on your ass, your hot ass. You already miserable. You already a miserable, nasty, cum, cum bucket asshole, dickhead, on fucking fire. But now you're gonna watch the people that you love suffer. You're gonna be tied to grief. The people that you love is gonna suffer on account of you. So that everybody thank the motherfucking Aries for being a hate and whack ass bitch, cause y'all gonna motherfucking suffer. Y'all gonna motherfucking suffer behind that bitch. So just thank her. Anything else? Say thank you, Miss Aries, for being a hating asshole. Trying to tempt somebody. Trying to pull a veil over their eyes and shit. They seen you. Stupid ass. <laughs> Fucking around in the underworld. Like I said, the underworld fuck with this person that you're fucking with. Trying to transform things in somebody else's life. Well, your life is about to transform and it's going to hunt you the way it's going to transform. So you know not to ever in your motherfucking life do no shit like that again. So shout out to the Aries. And if you ain't an Aries doing bullshit, don't take the messages for you. If you know you ain't did no shit like this to another person, don't worry about it. But if you did, bitch, you got something to worry about. Because it's coming for your ass. Everything you did. It just ran across my mind. Is you like Uno? Do you like Uno? Reverse back to you. Reverse back to you. Reverse back to you. Reverse back to you. Or reverse back to you. Draw four cards. Reverse back to you. Draw two cards. Bitch. You like motherfucking Uno? Reverse back to you, ho. See how you deal with it. See how you deal with the suffering. Because you're going to fucking suffer. But it's always something to be grateful for. Because whoever this person was trying to have suffer. Whatever they was trying to do to you. First of all, they did you a favor. Because whoever the man is, he's karmic. Yeah, it could have been like a divine soulmate of yours but that man is karmic and she basically did you a favor so whatever she was trying to do it didn't prevail let me pull a couple cards on you real quick before we read these grateful heart messages can we get a couple of cards because you ain't even come out that much and it's, I ain't really naming the signs that was surrounding you because it's like, it's basically like a secret who you is. 
You could be any sign, divine feminine, that this hoe was doing this shit too. But she's gonna pay, and her people gonna pay for what the fuck she did. <laughs> Confirmation. So can we get some cards on this secret energy real quick? I just want to know, um, you know, how they handled it. Like, how did they handle it? Oh. Whatever this person wanted for this person, the answer was no. It was blocked. This person transcended. This person received gifts. And this person is whole. <laughs> As above, so below. This person is in their purest form. They're conscious. They're clear. They can speak truth. They're fair. They are a protector. Oh, and they was paying attention, by the way. <laughs> so they know whoever this is or when I said, remember when I said they know what was being done? This person was paying attention and that's why they was holding back their energy because they knew it was up and they know, and they probably know what's going to be up for your ass too. This person know what you was doing, justice. They knew they was going to receive justice. That's why they held back their energy, the divine feminine. What do you know? This person was initiated here. This person is enlightened and they was tolerating your motherfucking ass. That's what they was doing. This person has a higher perception. They mastered themselves. So get ready for, you know, what's about to occur with you. Because you about to take accountability for that shit. Everything you offered up. And here go that three of swords again for you. You're going to suffer threefold. So... Basically, that person just enhanced. <laughs> y'all gotta stop fucking with people. But for sure, y'all need to stop fucking with the divines people. But y'all need to stop fucking with people, period. Because I don't give a fuck if they, not cho if they chosen or not. Don't nobody deserve for somebody to be sitting up there doing no shit like that to them. Out of pure hate and jealousy and competition. And then, and then got the nerve to try to be sneaky with it. Like, bitch, you a fucking coward. But that coward ass about to get lit the fuck up. So because this did not prevail, there's always something to be grateful for. So we have here, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything and tell Yahweh what you need. And thank him for all he has done. I have loved you even as the Father has loved me. Remain in my love. Yahweh keeps an eye on his friends. His ears pick up every moan and groan. Let your unfailing love surround us, Yahweh, for our hope is in you alone. The joy of Yahweh is your strength. What a caterpillar calls the end of the world, the master calls a butterfly. Yahweh is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? He will command his angels concerning you and guard you in all your ways. This person was guarded, protected, and had love, and help, and hope. They wasn't worried about you. <laughs> but you and yours going to have to be worried, though. And it's all thanks to you. We have here, Yahweh is my strength and shield. I trust him with all my heart. In me, you may have peace. In the world, you will have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Yeah, and all I'm getting, that's, listen, I'm not pacifying people where, um, I see them doing bullshit and ill to others. I'm not pacifying nobody with the fuck shit. You was on some bullshit. You would not be getting no, no pacify, no nothing like that. You about to feel it. So enjoy what you did to yourself. Basically enjoy what you did to yourself and your loved ones. But I hope you all got a message from this read that'll help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all later. Peace.